So you bought your tropical plant. You probably paid too much. You're waiting for a new leaf to pop because that means you're a good plant parent and your plant is happy. But instead of a new leaf, what do you get? This thing. The plant lasso or a runner or whatever they're called. But it's not a leaf. And I don't know, maybe it's cute. Is that cute? It's not that. It's not that cute. So what do you do? I'm gonna show you what you can do. Okay. Okay, so the bad part about this is that you don't have a leaf, but the good part about this is that uh, you potentially have a lot of babies. We're going to cut the runners. Bye, bye. And sometimes when you do this, it inspires, well, it always inspires the plant to grow more, but it also might inspire the plant to um, push out a leaf, you never know. All right, so that's gonna go over there. Here's our long ass runner. All right, so at every node, we have the potential for a new little plant. This is like an internode. It's a node between nodes. What is that? That's deep. That is deep. All right, so we've got this little guy. It's our first one, actually. I don't know, were we gonna get a leaf there? I always think it's gonna be a leaf and then it's not. The thing about this plant is there's so much space in between nodes, it's kind of crazy. Like typically the space between nodes is a lot smaller. Anyways, on this plant, it's not. So we have a lot of room to cut. There's our first one. And we're basically gonna just keep doing this I'm gonna cut off some of this because it doesn't need to be that long, really. And that's just throw away. Um, here's our next one. Where was that internode? I don't know. And like that. So here's our pieces so far. Um, yeah, so even that right there is an internode. Less of a chance to get roots out of that, but there's some chance. I don't know, maybe we'll chance it. And I'll cut that one and see if I can get anything from it. This one's got a nice long aerial root. That's a good thing. Yeah, it has these teeny tiny little internodes. They're so cute. Just kidding, they're not that cute. Okay, um, is another internode right there. So we'll cut and we'll cut. And that's, that's it folks that's our last one so here's all my little guys um sometimes i like to like spray the ends with hydrogen peroxide or something but you can also put root tone on them i don't really do that much um except i do let them dry out so i'm gonna let them sit here for a little bit and then i will show you how to pot them up all right, so actually on my list of to-do things was to cut this. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I love it. But it sends out a lot of runners. So the cool thing is you can kind of see where I chopped it before. And there it's like pushing out a new growth point, pushing out a new thing right there. I've chopped it a bunch of times because it just really likes, it really likes to run. It's a runner. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this leaf on and I'm gonna cut it here and maybe I need a new blade there we go a pretty good cut um, and it looks like we might actually be getting a leaf here and here which sometimes if you cut it the leaves won't survive but sometimes it will I'm gonna cut it just kind of right in the middle there. This plant typically has really good genes. There's a lot of um, white in it, but a couple of my plants, um, a couple of the runners, the stem didn't have as much white in it. So the leaves actually, the baby leaves came out green, which is not as exciting. So I've got two of those and it's super important to label your plants when you have these little sticks and you're propagating them 
they all look similar and it's very easy to mix them up. I have a lot of mystery, um, mystery nodes, mystery sticks that I don't know what they are. So don't be like me, label your plants. All right, so these little guys have been sitting here for a while and the ends are a little bit brown. That means they've dried out a little bit. So you're gonna squeeze your moss out. Oh, it's nice and dry. Not really, not dry. So it's not sopping wet. And you really just need a layer of moss in there. What I just did was too much. And the other side, tamp it down. Um, these guys are kind of big. Ooh, not gonna fit. I chopped these little guys down so they would fit a little better. Um, plastic containers, to-go containers. So many options for little prop boxes. Get creative and figure out what works for you. Smaller the container, the more you're going to have to um, open it up and get some fresh air in there. So if you have a big bin prop box, then there's gonna be more air in there, um, less time that you have to spend opening it up to get some air in there. Jeez, it's like a really long way of saying the same thing twice. Sorry about that. Um, so there's my one. It can just sit with the lid on it like that. Um, or a little bit cracked open or all the way shut. I like mine just a little tiny bit open. So I just kind of place them on top. Wow, my window's open and people like to drive really fast on my street. Here's the Epipremnum Pinat, no, that's not, what is it? The elbow Epipremnum. Um, I also chopped these ones down a little bit to make them fit a little better. These typically grow really fast. Uh, the other thing is, usually with the aerial root, I point it down into the moss, and you need, you want contact. They will actually sometimes just grow without it, but the contact helps for sure. Now, it is true, I have had wet sticks or these little, you know, node sticks, whatever they are, um, I've had them not grow just they didn't um but most of the time they do i like to do a bunch of them because sometimes one or two of them won't grow very well there's my lid a uh, clear lid is ideal you could also put these just into a big ziploc baggie that's another option something to keep the humidity in the moss typically doesn't need to be sprayed because it usually stays damp. Now, if this is off too much, um, then yeah, the moss is gonna dry out. Or if it's super dry and hot, check the moss. Um, every couple days, like two to three days, I'll probably take the lid off. Since this one, neither one of these are sealed, they're just like placed on top, then there's a tiny bit of airflow. Not really any airflow, actually. There's just a tiny bit of ventilation, the tiniest of bits. All right, so that's pretty much it. What to do with your runners. All right, hopefully you made something, you did something, you learned something today. I don't know, those are the things that bring me fulfillment and maybe some of you as well. Okay, see you later, bye.